India's first ever bullet train project just got a high speed boost. Japan has officially offered India two iconic Shinkansen train sets, the E5 and E3 series, for free that too. Yes, free. Not a lease, not a loan, but a diplomatic gift on wheels. Why does it matter? I don't think you're going to even ask that question because it does matter a lot. Let us tell you why. The Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail is India's flagship bullet train corridor. It's set to partially open by August 2027. The project has faced many delays, high costs, and rising pressure to deliver. Japan's solution? Sent the E5 and E3 series as inspection vehicles by early 2026. And there's a bigger play here the E10 series incoming. India originally planned to use the E5 for passenger service, but delays and cost concerns made India consider homemade alternatives. And that's where Japan stepped in. To break the deadlock, Japan sweetened the deal as well. Offer E5 and E3 for inspection duties free of charge. And then it'll be time to introduce the next gen E10 series for full scale passenger service in the 2030s. Until the E10s arrive, India may modify Vande Bharat trains to run semi high speed services. So, as I told you at the start of the video, this is literally strategic diplomacy on rails. This isn't the first time that Japan has gifted trains. When Taiwan built its high speed rail, Japan provided a free zero series test Shinkansen to Taiwan. And that's why for Japan, having Shinkansen tech in India is not just business, it's soft power, it's brand reputation, and regional influence as well. Data first, trains later. The gifted E5 and E3 sets will be outfitted with inspection gear to test high temperature durability, dust resistance, and it will also be able to track performance in Indian conditions. And all of these insights will shape the eventual Made in India E10s, customized for Indian terrain. Now let's talk about the finance, money talks yen loans and summit diplomacy. Japan has already committed low interest yen loans to cover 80% of the Mumbai Ahmedabad project's cost, which is 1.8 trillion yen. But with cost overruns expected already, a new financing framework is on the table. Sources say that this will be finalized when PM Modi visits Japan for a bilateral summit. And that's why at the end of all of this, it can safely be said. Two trains, zero cost, but one high-speed future. Japan's Shinkansen gift could turn the tide for India's bullet train ambitions. And if all goes well, by the 2030s itself, India may have its own high-speed fleet powered by Japanese tech made for Indian rails. By India, by Bharat. Let us know in the comments what you think about the Shinkansen diplomacy from Japan. Share this video with a fellow tech enthusiast and maybe a fellow railway enthusiast as well. And for more such stories from the world of tech and AI, don't forget to subscribe to AIM TV. Think AI, think AIM.